month of August, Girls Inc. is looking to rise our girls. Joining me now is Kay Mathers and Morgan Gerhardt. Hi. Hi, Hi. Nancy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> girls Inc., now you have been around for a number of years. What is Girls Inc. for the people out there, our viewers that don't know yet? Girls Inc. is a wonderful place. It's a, a nonprofit that has an after-school program and summer program that is just for girls. Um, ages? Ages K, kindergarten yep. through high school, through 12th grade, so that would be uh, fifth grade through 18, oh, I'm sorry, uh, five through 18. Okay. Right. So our mission is to inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. Okay, and build their self-confidence. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Yes. So what is the August Match Campaign, Kay? We're, we've got 30 days uh, to match $100,000, so it's pretty simple. We have weekly goals that we're trying to achieve, but really to raise money uh, in a very short period of time because giving doesn't stop in the summer. Giving continues, yes. and we know the that. The need stops. The I mean, need, the need doesn't stop. Right. The again. need grows in yes. the summer. Yeah. Um, definitely, we're just finishing up our summer camp program. So mm -hmm. the need is there all year long, mm -hmm. and then we're getting ready for our fall uh, programs, okay. after-school programs. Now, you said um, a uh, $100,000 match. So you've gotten $100,000. Yes. Yes, we yes. do. We have two foundations. Uh, that are each giving fifty thousand dollars to us. One, we want to thank the Charles and Marjorie Brancic Foundation for the first fifty thousand, and then the additional is coming from a foundation partner who prefers to remain anonymous. But we have a long time relationship with them, and Aww. we are so appreciative. Aww. So they'll match dollar for dollar. Yes, dollar for dollar. What what you raise. what we bring in okay. so okay. we have wonderful supporters and donors and they match dollar for dollar okay. and we have a stretch goal we you know at the, we have so many girls that we need to serve and we have a waiting list so that the more that we can raise the more girls we can serve okay. how so, many girls do you service right now well, we're in transition between summer camp and the fall after school programs so it varies anywhere from 150 daily to over um, 250, uh, depending on the the program you're we talking about. But no, on I'm on sorry. average, we we reach into the schools too during the school year. So that number grows during the school year because we're de we're delivering our programs in the public schools. Now, how are they broken up age wise? Um, ages and stages developmentally appropriate, so we keep them with their age groups, except in certain situations where they're working in an in inter age. Um, environment uh, like our little city that we run inside of the building called Dream Harbor. So that in that environment the girls are, you know, there's older girls working with the younger girls mm -hmm. that's great. and they all have jobs and positions so um, okay. that's where that lens okay. for that. Now the funds, once you receive them, where will they be used? I mean I can only imagine, right? <laughs> where will they, <laughs> will they be the used? The majority of the money goes towards scholarships to offset costs for families that may not otherwise be able to afford our programs. Oh. So we definitely like to believe that every girl walking in the building, hers, her funds are somehow subsidized, um, but then other families need additional support. And so we really like to be able to have as much money allocated so there's never a girl on the waiting list waiting to, to come in and get our, our programs. Now, um, I've seen the girls out, and they all have those <laughs> great, great shirts on. Yes, they do. So they get a shirt when they come in. Yes. Absolutely. So they, again, feel like they belong, like it's a part of who they are. Yes. Exactly. They and get a, a healthy snack when they come in after school. Uh -huh. Which is almost like a full meal. Right. It's a uh -huh. hot meal. That we prepare um, nutritionally balanced. They, we pay for transportation for them to come from the schools to our center on Tuttle Avenue. So all of those things cost money. And then, of course, the program, which is a National Girls Inc. curriculum that we are trained to deliver. Uh, and so there's, it's very uh, developmentally appropriate, but it's, there's also outcome measurements associated to all of our curriculum. So we know our programs work in creating a, a, a whole girl philosophy about independence and that those buckets of strong, smart, and bold. Um, so we know our programs are effective. Okay. So, amazing. So strong um, fits is health and wellness. Right. Smart is education, and bold is life skills. Awesome. 
Thank you. You cover you cover it, it all. All of the total person. Yeah. Yes. Well, how can people get involved and find out more about this wonderful? They can go to our website, which yes. is girlsincsrq.org. They can call the center at 941-366-6646. Uh, um, they can check us out on Facebook at Girls Inc. SRQ. And, and they're going to see this. They'll see this around town. You'll see some ads for this, too. Okay. So donate August. Uh, through the month of through August. Through the month of August. Yes. Okay. Great. Certainly it doesn't stop in no. August. No. <laughs> right. Uh, right. To, Anytime, to get the, the but man. this time <laughs> it's for the man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you both for being here. Thanks, Thanks for Nancy. Having. Thanks for Coming up after the break, we take a look at the Gulf Coast Community Foundation. <laughs>